it's Kim here once again from Kim's Homestead here in a very sunny beautiful Victoria Australia how are you all I hope you're all doing well well for today's video uh, I've got to start packing it up so I thought before I do I will give you a bit of a pantry tour on uh, what I have and and where it is and I hope you like the video so let's start with the working pantry tour and this is the one I have in a corner cupboard in the kitchen and then um, you might be wondering what on earth I put on such a huge big spice rack. Well, we're going to have a bit of a tour of that as well because possibly the next one won't be so big. I plan on, as I bring it down, going through the spices. A lot of them I no longer use because I'm not doing that sort of cooking anymore. So I'll either put it away in the cupboard just in case or um, I'll get rid of it altogether. And then there's the what I call the large pantry. Um, but honestly to me it's not very big. It hardly holds anything. It might look like it does but if you're a canner it's not very big um, so we'll have a, a look at the long-term stuff that I've got in there and there's also another nook and cranny in my laundry cupboard that we'll have a quick look at as well so Let's start with the kitchen pantry tour. Okay, well for the very top shelves, I can't reach them. And with my twisted back, I can't see them. So I'm just going to point to them with a stick so that you can see what's there. So here I have my spare egg cartons. Here are my bulk um, herbs and spices. There's ground cloves, cracked black pepper, ground black pepper, sage, rosemary. There's also some dried marshmallow bits, um, dill stems, something down the back there that I can't see. There's uh, broccoli, majorum, more dill, chocolate mint, and there's some other ones up around here. Down here is where I have some smaller of the herbs, such as your pepper, your, there's white pepper, um, there's spare ones of cinnamon, um, just spices that I'm using, there's garlic and onions and all of those. And over here I have popcorn, um, noodles for when I'm making chicken noodle soup, Epsom salts, split peas, bicarb soda, powdered mushrooms, dehydrated zucchinis, um, sun-dried tomatoes, dried rosella, biscuit crumbs, dried potatoes, uh, both in little squares and in slices. There's um, breadcrumbs, dried onions and dried mushrooms. Uh, around here I have my sugar products such as your white sugar, caster sugar, brown sugar, raw sugar, 
I also have stevia drops and stevia powdered. There's also monk fruit and also my um, dried fruit such as strawberries, um, bacopa, blueberries, orange slices. There's also LSA mix with chia. I use that when I'm making my breakfast smoothies. There's mixed green powder. Uh, there's my dried apples, dried quince. There's citrus flavorings. That's really good for using as a um, Pet can substitute as well. Oregano leaves, chia. There's the vegetable protein, which I use as a mincemeat substitute. I do have a couple of videos on that, uh, which I will put in the uh, description box. Um... Now I'll get in here so I can see. I also have um, cornbread mixture, grey vox, tapioca starch, my spare coconut oil. Um, there's some cracker biscuits and sunflower seeds, the spare cornflour and spare pectin. Okay, so I'll bring you in for the rest. Right, this shelf here is things that uh, both I plan on meals fairly soon. I did have anyway uh, until I went back on to keto. There's baby corn spears, Bombay potatoes. They'll have to go back into the big pantry. There's bicarb soda. Uh, this one here is almond flour. Milk, these are my bread making stuff, which is your bread flour, um, yeast, salt, full cream milk powder. I do have some pumpkin spice I made up here. Uh, there's also my yeast extract, nutritional yeast. Organic coconut cream, condensed milk, <coughs> pancake mix, um, mixed nuts and toothpicks. There's also a fruitcake there for Christmas time. This one here is icing, icing mixture for making cakes. I make quite a lot of cakes and that for the grandies. They love to decorate the cakes. Here I have the flax. Um, I don't want to open it up but few other things as well. I've got to be careful because of the darn moth. Uh, we have <coughs> hazelnut mixture, uh, more almond flour over there, custard powder, some little cracker biscuits just in case I feel like noshing on something, mashed potato, Cornflakes for when the kids come over. Some 
cocoa powder. Uh, and in the back there is where I keep the bulk um, milk. Uh, there's full cream milk, there's skim milk, and there's um oh what do you call it some other thing anyway here we have some more dried fruit. That's what's left of the wheat bix. Um, my grandson's got to eat the rest of that yet. More breakfast cereals, coffee whitener, diced coconut, maize. That one there is flaked brown rice and this one here I saw it and I was quite intrigued it's like a custard it's a golden ice cream it's like um, you know the golden gay times it's supposed to taste like that I thought it was quite intriguing and some cheesecake mix. My rices, there's uh, risotto, uh, long grain rice, short grain rice, wild rice and minute rice and soup mix. Down here is my onions and my condiments all sorts of condiments in there and then we have like the spreads there's Vegemite, peanut butter, golden syrup, um, honey, Nutella, um, flour <clears throat> look at that is there any even, even a thing of noodles <laughs> and icing sugar, um, legumes? I've got uh, coffee essence, these are my vinegars and my essences. Down here is the bulk vinegars and oils that I use. Then in there I've got those long sheets for um, making lasagna. There's some biscuit biscuits there. That's what I use for making the base for cheesecakes and different flowers. My bulk honey. There's some more vinegars, pasta, um, cat food, more bulk spices and flowers and more cat food. So this is what's in my, what I call my working pantry on a you-know-what trap. I think there's still about eight moths in there. <clears throat> still getting the rotten things. I don't know where they're coming from, but there's nothing in these containers. And everything that I get that's even remotely delicious to them goes in the freezer or in a very sealed jar. Usually freezer first and then jar. 
Anyway, let's have a look at my bulk pantry. Before I do that though, I thought you might like to see what's on my spice rack. Which, there's a few empty tins up there because they're nice and they were my mother's. <laughs> but I have cream of tartar, cinnamon sticks, uh, there's some barbecue seasonings are up there, all different flavours. Uh, medical tinctures and spices and whatever else. Um, then I have my essences, my food colourings and a few other little bits and pieces. Then we have the larger ones of the spices such as the poppy seeds, sesame seeds, seeds chives, mixed herbs, garlic granules, onion flakes, cinnamon, a ground cinnamon, Italian herb mix, seasonal multi-use sprinkle, this chicken one, uh, Chinese stir-fry one, pine nuts, onion flakes, juniper, um, and the last one there is green peppercorns. Here we have lavender, um, buckeye, cardamom, turmeric, roast lamb, ground mace, lemon pepper, steak seasoning, Mexican chilli, everything eggs, mixed spice, cayenne pepper, celery seeds, cumin seeds, onion salt, dill, popcorn salt, five spice, coriander, chives, chives? I think it's ground chives. <clears throat> Cumin. Um, what's this one? Oh, yeah, salad Supreme. Citrus Zest. And celery salt. Here, yeah, sweet paprika, mixed Seasoned saffron, goulash, whole cloves, barbecue mix, star anise, sage, pizza mix, fennel, um, fenugreek. There's barbecue season. Um, sorry, bacon seasonings. Uh, there's two, three, four originals. Smoky barbecue, spicy and cheesy. We have garlic powder, cayenne pepper, ground cardamom, smoked paprika, garlic steak, mandarin powder, whole peppercorns, whole nutmeg, cinnamon, rosemary, bay leaves, paprika, chilli, oregano, basil, coriander, parsley, thyme and garlic. Down here we have chicken salt. There's uh, cucumber pickling mixture, citric acid, paprika, everything bagel, ground nutmeg, gelatin, white pepper, black pepper, salt, ground pepper, um, it's salt just for chips, chia seeds, sesame seeds, baking powder, uh, arrowroot, Parmesan, hundreds and thousands, vanilla sugar, dusting sugar, vanilla paste, golden gay time crumbles, beef stock, mushroom stock, curry powder, uh, vegetable stock, chicken stock and chicken gravy mix, Texan steakhouse rub, cinnamon sticks, Cinnamon sugar in a grinder, cinnamon sugar in a container, roast pork seasoning, chili, um, lemon balm, dried lemon balm. Dried peppermint tea, 
lamb seasoning, tomato powder, dark mustard seeds, ground mustard, pickling spice, whole yellow mustard and petkin powder. So if you ever wondered what was on that great big spice rack that shows up in some of my videos, now you know. I don't know how big the new spice rack is going to me, but or going to be, but I will probably try and cull this as much as I can and downsize it for the new homestead. Right, well, this one is actually what you would call a linen press that I've turned into a pantry or a store or cupboard. And as you can see, there's all sorts of cleaners and light bulbs and um, cat shampoo and all sorts of things up there. Then we go to my excess canning lids, uh, rings, things like that. Um, then we have soap powders, soap, And back here we have rice. There's a couple of big jars of rice. In here we have um, softener. And there's like beans galore in there. And asparagus. Um, down here we have mandarins in vodka, um, some, I think that was jam, marmalade, made in 2018. So I really need to sort of get into some of those things. Down the bottom we have mushrooms, What's this one? Oh, that one is onions, I think. More onions. More mushrooms. And, yep, yeah, mushrooms. So, yeah, I'd really like a, a large pantry where I can get into these things and uh, rotate them through, at least so I know what I've got where and uh, that way nothing's well, hopefully sitting on the shelf since 2016. <laughs> The cleaners I actually keep in under here. That one here is um, softener, bleach, and in towards the back there's disinfectants and floor cleaners. All that is and then we've got a few random rags and toilet bowl washers. Now we will go and have a look at what's in the long term storage pantry. Well, what I would do is bring you right around the top. Okay, there's a punch bowl set and just random, you know, stuff you have in tucked away in the pantry. 
spare rolls of paper and all that sort of stuff. Hang on. <clears throat> yeah. Eskies and that sort of thing. Over here is boxes for for spare glasses and um, mainly Christmas presents, wedding presents that I've got put away for my granddaughter for when she gets married, hopefully sometime soon. <laughs> okay, so the next level is this one here and that's where I keep like semolina and spare um, legumes and things like that, couscous. Uh, up there is tissue boxes and of course uh, noodles and my plastic products such as the cling wrap, tin foil, um, plastic bags, uh, Ziploc bags and I think there's a spare caster sugar there somewhere and another trap for those rotten little moths. <sighs> okay, so up here, see if I can zoom in a little bit. is the big cans of cannelloni beans, peach halves, pear halves. There's a big thing of chicken legs and all my coffee products, Milo products, molasses, and my spare bread flowers. Here I have two shelves of my meat products. I've got uh, pickled pork, chuck steak, chicken wings, uh, bourbon chicken, meatloaf, turkey mince, rabbit mince, chicken legs, chicken wings, um, diced chicken, roast lamb, roast goat, um, braised steak, chicken soup and stuff. Down there's also some more chicken soup. Then we have braised steak and onions, chicken breast pieces, uh, rabbit, shredded rabbit, uh, topside, and duck, and what's that one? Silver side. Then we have our stocks, such as vegetable stock, chicken stock, duck stock. Uh, I've got some spare corn kernels shoved in there. Um, hamburger mince drippings. That's all the water and that that I got out of when I cooked up the hamburger, the drippings make wonderful seasoning. Then there's chicken stock, ham stock, and some more soups. Tucked away over in that corner, I've got condiments. Down here is my tomato products and some more condiments. Here we have some more stock and let's see asparagus or corn, coleslaw. Now let me take you out again. There we go. Um, mixed veggies and potatoes. There's a couple of shelves there of potatoes 
in various stages with some with seasonings some without underneath I have that one there is my jellies that one there is because I'm on a keto diet if I feel like a protein bar or a nibble of some sort they're in there underneath is a big box of um, instant cake mixes and no I don't make everything from scratch <laughs> if I can make it easier on myself I do there's more in under there um, my olive oil and here we have this year's uh, mulberry jams and corn that we did together just recently under there is like spare panko breadcrumbs and a few other bits and pieces for staples for the pantry here's where I keep my spare uh, dishwashing tablets um, let's see, it's toilet rolls. <clears throat> Here's where I keep my instant meal mixes, you know, sauce mixes, uh, chili con carne mixes, Alfredo's, and also my yogurt mixes. I also have two large of the liquid Omo bottles. There's one there and one over near the door. Right, we'll go to the next shelf. Up the top, let's see, we have juices, uh, there's mangoes, there's sugars and spare cleaning stuff. Over there is, um, let's see, that was strawberries and rhubarb. There's um, I think that was pears, then we have powdered egg, more stock and spices, long life milk, um, both cow's milk and almond milk, and pine coconut juice and more almond milk here is some sauces and marinades there's both the um, homemade and commercial ones in here and there's also some canned up grapes up here is my chutneys and relishes all along there. You might see the odd jar of fruit up there. That's because I had nowhere to put it. Along here is my fruit, whether it be stewed fruit or bottled fruit, jellied fruit, fruit in syrups of different sorts and fruit in liqueurs and down here is my jams jams and jellies there's also a couple of packets or a couple of jars of that corn syrup once again because I had nowhere to put it um, as I said jams and jellies Oop, there's one of the sauces out of place 
and there, well, where are we? There we go. There, I have a whole slew in there of mulberry jelly from last year. <laughs> so yeah, I've still got a bit to go through. Whoop. Down there I have my lemonades and soda waters and my meal sauces. Here I have spaghetti, baked beans, spaghetti sauce, um, leg ham. Under there is my canned vegetables. There's soups and canned stews of some description. Mainly for when I really just, all I feel like doing is opening up a can of something and that's tea. And I do like my cream of chicken soup. So I've got a few of those. And tucked in right in there. is my cream in a can right down in there there's both chocolate and plain vanilla that's for when I want dessert sometimes I don't use that very often because it's loaded with sugar right uh, here is my some more canned fruit and down here is some more sauces and so forth. It's prickly pear, um, an orange sauce. That's one I made a few years ago. That's good for a marinade and whatnot. I don't use it very much though, as you can see. I made way, way, way too much. Down here is where I keep my fish such as tuna, sardines, both the personal, you know, little tunas for when you just want something on crackers and the big cans for when you want to make a whole big casserole. There's sardines, of course. Um, somewhere in there is a... Uh, is it trout or something and we have some crab meat and sh uh, shrimp um, let's see down here I have my spare jars of garlic there's Lemon curd, and I forget what that one is. I think that one's mustard. Um, down there is evaporated milk, um, condensed milk, cream coconut cream and down there is the tinned pie fillings and pineapple and passion fruit here I have my onions stored. Um, I bought a great big bag of onions and I'm slowly going through them. They're in the paper bag because it helps to keep them nice and dark. Here I have some chips and some spare water. 
white wine, <laughs> canning rings, and some more spare drinks. Uh, Zoop dupers for the grandkids, and just some more um, spare random items as well as vinegar. In these drawers, we have, let's see, there's snacks, just biscuits mainly, munchies, what's this one? Ah, oh, cake mix, because I had nowhere for it. <laughs> uh, pasta and tortilla pockets. These are the Alfredo and rice, ones that already cooked up. Here we have like noodles and rice paper and um, yeah, just random noodles. Here we have more baking products as well as the vegetable um, vegetable meat more or less. More packet mixes such as the batter mix, chicken fry, um, seasonings. More nutmeg. I bought a heap of stuff when it was on sale or clearing out somewhere. And potatoes. <laughs> These ones here are from the home garden and I bought those ones and then I went keto. So, this is a fairly small pantry, for me anyway. Um, large to other people, I know. Um, there's my some of my homegrown garlic and the bags of... Um, herbs I just hang up until they're nice and dry and then I bag them up wherever they're supposed to go so there's the pantry tour for the old homestead and the next time you will see a pantry tour will be in a new homestead when I finally find it and purchase it and move in. So that's it for now guys. I hope you enjoyed this pantry tour and if you like the content think about subscribing and give me a thumbs up. That would be really good. Thank you. Bye for now.